Jay Station is the type of YouTuber that likes to profit off uh, other people's sadness. For example, he made a video about uh, speaking to Etika. I believe it was just hours, maybe a day or two after his passing. Uh, this guy doesn't care. It's all about the hustle for him, which I respect. Social Blade rates his channel as an A- and says he averages 60 million views a month 60 so let me put that into perspective for you this dude is probably making at least a quarter million dollars a month at least that's two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month in ad revenue alone that doesn't take in to account other sources of income and now i really hate bringing up youtuber income but there becomes a point where you have literally so much of it that I wonder, was that extra 10,000 really worth it? This guy is gaining 10, 20,000 subscribers a week. He's averaging 5,000 new subscribers a day. His channel is very popular. Why? Because he does this kind of outrageous thing. I've got to give a ton of credit to him for his hustle. Talking about, you know, I see him pioneering it's probably not the, he's definitely the most famous doing it. I see him pioneering all sorts of these clickbait titles about the dark web. And I, I bought a witch on the dark web and his audience is eight year olds. All right. Uh, in my opinion, his content absolutely unequivocally is targeted towards children, which is surprising given he's still allowed to maintain his content. Uh, he's still in, in all the videos I look at. His comment section uh, is on. His merchandise sales thing is on, which is something they disable. Uh, so, you know, outside of outside of the fact that I believe his channel is in COPPA violation because there's no question in my mind that when you make videos like, I used a Ouija board at 3 a.m. to contact random passing celebrity, that only a child or an adult with the mind of a child would believe that these videos are real. Now, just the other day, he put out a video, my girlfriend passed, and then he gives a tearful tale about how somebody who had overconsumed beverages crashed into her and she lost her life. Which, by the way, I understand clickbait, and I know I'm moralizing a little bit here, but, but, Drunk driving accidents and losing somebody that is not a freaking joke. It's not something to be used for clickbait. All right. No, I'm not saying like some other YouTubers have like that he needs to leave the platform or anything like that. I'm just going to say, and I hope that because I know depending on when I put out this video, there may or may not even be a notification. I'm hoping that you, if you agree with me, will take a minute to leave a comment and share this video so that some of his fans might understand that it's not always worth it. There are millions of people, directly or indirectly, that are affected by these type of tragedies every year. And to use it as a marketing tool to lie, emotionally manipulate your fans is disgusting. And again, I'm not saying the guy's got to go. I'm just saying, look, Papa Jeremy's got to say something about something. You know, I do two, three, four videos a day. Sometimes I just got to go on a little bit of a rant. Sometimes I just got to call a garbage human garbage. And as a multi-millionaire who has had a history of exploiting tragedy for clicks, when is enough enough? Now, of course, obviously... It's already been exposed, several people calling the local police department where he lives, asking for any information on this. None exists. Of course he's lying. You look at some ordinary gamers tweeting out, JayStation is lying about his girlfriend. I've spent the entire night browsing and checking with the police in Toronto and Ottawa. No reports, no local news agencies, and worst of all, no family is confirming. I'm done with YouTube. I'm dumb for feeling sorry. This guy is crying in the video, trying to pretend, by the way, a freaking video that he monetized too. Holy hell. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of you know that my dog, Indy, it's his birthday today. He's 14 years old. I have days 
left with him. I don't have months or weeks probably. And when he passes, I know many of you emotionally because you've been following my channel or you follow me on Twitter, you'll want to know and I'll probably update you in a video. Am I going to run ads on it? No. And, 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 the, and, the, and the difference is I'll be telling the truth when I do the video. This dude is beyond disgusting. All right. This spits in the face of anyone who's ever lost anyone to a, a, a drunk driver. Obviously, you're promoting this Dream Team channel because when you check the description, it just says, Rest in paradise, Alexa. We'll never forget you. Link to their new channel. You look at Keemstar. J Station should be banned from YouTube. When I say he has very young kid fans, I'm not saying that to roast him. I'm saying it's because it's true. Like 7 to 12 year olds. Read the comments. These kids have no idea what he's doing is socially wrong ban him already. Now again, I will say, I do not support banning him. What I support is educating his fans that what he's doing, that the juice isn't always worth the squeeze. You're talking about a multi-millionaire that's still lying to people and emotionally manipulating them for more money. And look, he can make as much money as he wants to make. I'm not going to sit here and say, Oh, he shouldn't do this. Oh, he shouldn't sell merch or he shouldn't have this or he shouldn't have that. I'm just trying to appeal to some level of this dude's morality. Like, are you going to think of all the fans statistically for somebody with, let me check, five and a half million subscribers. Statistics say several of them have lost loved ones this way. Do you think that that's funny? Do you think that that's just worth the hustle? That that there, this isn't seriously affecting some people? I'm serious here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm the Brie Larson video guy. I made 30 videos about Captain Marvel. And I talk about purple. I'm just, let me be real for a minute. You don't think that some significant portion of your fandom is emotionally distressed by this. You don't care because you get a couple extra pennies in ad revenue, even though your content, by the way, is clearly targeted towards children, but that's neither here nor there. I don't know at what point here I started talking to Jay Station because I don't believe this kid is capable of empathy. I respect the hustle. I respect the bait, but come on, dude, this is pathetic. This is, this is coming from a guy that stood on Etika's grave for clickbait and money. Comments on my YouTube channel telling me, Jay, you better not do the Ouija board on Etika. Somebody stop me. I don't know why I'm surprised. Here on Deserto, YouTuber Jay Station accused of faking girlfriend's passing. Jay Station, a YouTuber with five and a half million subscribers, has both shocked and confused fans with a video reporting the passing of his girlfriend, Alexia. On January 22nd, Jay Station posted a four-minute video titled My Girlfriend Alexi Has Passed, Rest in Paradise. Appearing distressed, he explains that last night we lost her. Guys, she was going to pick something up for a video on our second channel, and now she's gone. However, fans have been left confused. After the video reporting her passing had been posted, another video was posted to their second channel featuring Alexia. Jay Station does say that the couple already had five videos lined up, but fans were surprised to see this posted following the news of her apparent passing. Imagine that your girlfriend or your wife passes and not missing a day of uploads. Boy, you got to respect the hustle. In a follow up video on his channel, Jay Station made a visit to a street side vigil for Alexia. The memorial already had a cross, images of her, a teddy bear, and flowers when he arrived. This is disgusting disgusting the youtuber also noticed a sign which was out of place and bent over explaining that she must have crashed into this sign jay station says he still plans to upload content but it won't be the same without her the odd circumstances around the video have led to suggest that the video and her passing are fake fellow youtuber ordinary gamer says that he checked the police in ottawa and there's no such report Drama alert host Daniel Keemstar Keem started a hashtag in an effort to ban. The Canadian YouTuber has previously sparked controversy with the videos. Most infamously, he used a Ouija board to contact Etika on the same day he passed. He's also been accused of faking numerous other videos, including one in which he was apparently beaten up in his own home. 
Of course his videos are fake. Just because you have fake videos, that isn't a reason to be banned from the platform, but this dude is disgusting. Seriously, if you're a subscriber to JayStation and you feel like, ha 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 ha, I'm just in on the joke, just know that there's thousands of other people that aren't. There are probably thousands of people who genuinely are distraught over her passing. It's all about the hustle. I understand that. But when is enough enough, dude? It was bad enough when you stood on Etika's grave. And now you're just faking them for more bait? You don't need to go this far, dude. It's just disgusting. Grow up. That's all I can say. Freaking grow up, dude. You've got piles of money. You don't need to do this. Look, I know. I know I'm playing into it. I think when this dude at one point uh, did his stuff with Etika, I really thought hard about covering it or not because I know this is what he wants. But I've got to say something. Because I work with this dude. What this dude does reflects on all of us, not just the creators, but the viewers as well. And I don't care if this gives him extra shine, because I'm hoping that all of you are busy liking the video, leaving comments, and sharing it on social media, so that the next person who sees a video by this moron knows that he's a fraud and a liar.